Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm very excited to bring you a 3D printer review. I've always wanted to do one and this one is pretty perfect because it's the most easy to use 3D printer apparently out there. I really had a lot of fun testing it. So let's get started and show you what things I've made. <music> Now this 3D printer is from Flash Forge. It's their new 3D printer called the Adventure 4. And it really is cool. So they sent it over to me and sponsored this video to really see how a novice like me, a first time 3D printer could really use this. And I have to say it's really easy. And especially from what I've seen online on 3D printing, I always was worried about getting into it just because of its difficulty. It seems very, like you have to remember all these things, you have to do all this kind of stuff. And this was pretty much start and go easy to set up. So first off, when you start it, there's something called leveling that you typically have to do. And it has an auto leveling system. It touches nine points on the surface, basically with its nozzle. And all you have to do is basically put a paper underneath it and just make sure that you get some resistance. As soon as you do, you're good. And that's it. And that's just so if you are putting it on a surface that's not so flat, you're all set and ready to go. Then it has this really easy door where you put in filament or plastic, basically the whole thing that you're going to print from. And it takes it in, has this little spool, and basically you can fit almost every size, at least every size I purchased. I don't know if it's a standard size or a little bit bigger. I heard this one did upgrade from the last model, had a smaller amount that you can put in there, and this one's kind of like a full size amount of filament that you can put in there. So that's really great. Just because again, every single one that I bought online fit in perfectly and easily. And I didn't have to worry about the door being open or not having enough filament. I've had enough for everything I wanted to print out. Then after you do your test print, which it comes with a couple inside, you have the ability to then find your 3D print online. I really found this great website called Thingverse, and it has a lot of cool 3D prints that are completely free, and it just works so perfectly with this software. Again, it was kind of just like anything that you would do, basically, if you wanted to like download a photo from online and print it out, it's pretty much that simple with this software. So once you find whatever 3D prints you want, then you just open up Flash Forge's software, which is called the Flash Print 5. And this software makes it really easy and it's very intuitive. I really do like it, especially again, since I never did this before. It allows you to basically load up whatever 3D prints you found and then use them as you need to. So you can turn it around, make sure you see it. You can rotate it. Maybe sometimes the person who created the 3D print didn't do it the bottom would be on the bottom and then you can even scale it so you can make it bigger or smaller what size is going to be good for this printer and it has this repair function which is really cool just because you know i don't know how to repair a 3d model but it does it automatically so i thought that was a really cool feature that i guess you might run into trouble with with other 3d printers so i like that ability after that you can even add what are called supports which is good for like a dragon wings if basically something is oddly supported you need some more support on those extremities or those things that go far off this will help you create auto supports so again just very simple and easy even for a novice like me that didn't know anything about it just to work once you have there you start slicing and what this is referring to is basically it slices up the 3d model so that you have layers and it can tell you how many layers you have as well for this 3d model and what I really appreciate is how long it's going to take. So I didn't know this about 3D printing, but it can take longer for some items, especially the very detailed ones and very quickly for others. So I like that it tells me so that way, if I want to print something out quick, I can go for the smaller models or see how long this one will take. And for those longer, longer prints that are going to take, you know, six hours, eight hours, well, that's going to be better served for before I go to sleep or before I leave for work. It's really simple and easy. Start printing and watch it go. And you can make some really cool stuff. I've caught a collection already because I am honestly printing pretty much every single day. 
And it's just really fun, all the kind of new stuff that I can find and print out, you know, really geek out as well, of course, because I am a geek and I love to print out just fun, cool things like a Joker card, a Batman Batarang, all these different things from all my different genres that I love from anime to every single thing, including gaming and functional things as well. This has really been a cool gift for the whole family, really. My daughter really loves it, thinks it's cool, loves to see the 3D printing happen. And my wife really likes when I do practical things, like I am able to print out a faucet adapter, which is good for kids and toddlers so they can wash their hands at the sink because it extends it to them. And of course, my son absolutely loves it when daddy comes down with a new toy that he just printed out. And there were some really fun ones here. He loved the turtle, a T-Rex, all this kind of stuff. So there's just so much fun to be had for sure with this. Now, everything has its issue or trouble points at times. And I did learn a few things along the way. For one, the software on the device itself gave me some trouble in the beginning. I do find it pretty direct and it does give you a little walkthrough, but I had issues with the pre-production software. Luckily, they were able to send me the final build before doing this video, and that solved pretty much all my problems. I will say as well, you want to be careful with what filament you buy online. I'm going to leave some links down below for ones that I recommend, because if you do buy some bad ones, they can get tangled up and you can kind of come back and you're 3D printed and finished printing because your filament got tangled up. So you definitely wanna make sure you don't buy, I would say maybe the basic ones from Amazon or things like that. You wanna buy a little bit better quality. And again, I'll leave you some which are really good in the link in the description down below. So how much does it cost? It costs $7.99. And if you're just getting started on 3D printing or have done other cheaper 3D printers and have been frustrated or had issues with them, I think this is a really, really good one to go to because it has basically a lot of problem solving that has been done for you already so you can just have fun and print. I really like the fact that it is enclosed so you don't have to worry about apparently temperatures because temperatures can throw off your 3D print and like mess the 3D print up while you've been away. I like that it has air filtration with a HEPA filter. That's really good because if you have to print, you don't have these smells going around, especially with ABS plastic, which is actually toxic. So you need either open windows or open air filtration. This has that built in, which is really just nice to know if I do ever want to print out ABS. And it has this really ingenious version of nozzles where you can actually change them out. Apparently this is really difficult with cheaper models and can't be done even on others. So this is really cool that you can actually kind of change these nozzles to make it the right size for your print. So you can basically make it thicker or thinner if you want to. It comes with a standard one pretty much built into it. So I've been using that one, but I do see myself now with bigger structures, maybe using a little bit thicker one and with smaller ones using the thinner one. So I just love that you can do that all built in and I don't have to worry or think about this kind of stuff. It's already done that. So I really think this is a 3D printer for not only the novice like me, who's never done a 3D print before this, but for anyone else that's looking to get into 3D printing that really just wants a simple and easy experience, I think this is a 3D printer for everyone. I think you'll enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think. Does this get you excited for 3D printing like it has for me? Because it really has. I've been printing out 3D models every day and I have really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and what 3D print should I do next? This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, follow us on social media at YouTube Tech Guy and check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.